You won't need this. I'm leaving you to your golden opportunity, sis. Remember, wealthy bachelors don't grow on every rose bush. Hello, Rod. Hello, Bob. Nice of you to come. What can I say, Bonnie? It's enough that you came. I haven't had you off my mind since it happened. The appraisers, miss. Would you ask them to work in some other part of the house, please, Albert? Very good, miss. Appraisers? Getting ready for the auction. Auction? Well, cleaned out. Sounds like a bad dream, doesn't it? Well, the, the whole works? House, yacht, furniture, everything. Nothing left but my reputation. <laughs> Sit down, won't you? Oh, gee. Why didn't you let me know, Bunny? Why? Well, like. Sort of a jam, isn't it? Sort of. Well, you know you can count on me. I'll do the right thing, Bonnie. The right thing? I'll marry you, of course. That is, if you... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Funny? Yes. What's funny? You're thinking you ought to marry me. It's the least I can do, isn't it? Kiss me, Bob. Don't be silly, darling. You don't have to be a martyr to the cause. Everything's 50 50, you know that. You mean that? 50 50. Absolutely no obligation on anybody's part. So cheer up. No wedding bells for us. You're not being heroic. I'm quite myself, I assure you. I like my freedom just as much as you do, Bob, and I intend to keep it. Well, spoken like a gentlewoman. Oh, good God, Monty. Gee, I might have known it. Relieved? Well, I, I hadn't exactly figured on walking down the aisle. Not this winter. Oh, but give me credit, I was willing. Noble Barkis. <laughs> spoken like a gentleman. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. No? No. Bob, would... would you mind going now? I'm sorry. Thanks. And if there's anything I can do, Bonnie, I hope you'll let me know. Nice of you to call. 